Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today we bring you news. William's pressure from Catherine and King Charles's cancer moved him in fear of the monarchy. The stress that came over the royal family threatened the members of the royal family with an unstable future. Catherine, 42, announced in a video message following her major abdominal surgery in January that she had recently received a cancer diagnosis, though she did not specify the type. She's currently receiving a preventative course of chemotherapy. It occurs at the same time that King Charles, Catherine's father-in-law, is receiving chemotherapy for an unnamed type of cancer. This declaration raises immediate concerns about the royal family's ability to handle the news of two senior members receiving cancer diagnoses, as well as the more distant ones about the monarchy's foreseeable future, such as the possibility that the widespread rumours about Catherine will continue. Public fascination with the royal family is going to be centred around the well-being of the King and the Princess of Wales in the weeks to come as opposed to the engagement with the public and formal royal responsibilities. With Charles away from public life for treatment for cancer, senior members of his family have been forced to reconsider their roles in public life. With Catherine still undergoing treatment, this balancing act is certain to keep going. It seems improbable that any members of the royal family, especially the most senior royals, will be travelling outside of the United Kingdom in the near future. We're probably going to witness fewer public appearances by prominent members of the royal household, with the royal family taking a back seat in foreign affairs in 2024, Commonwealth travels by King Charles III and Camilla, or the Prince and Princess of Wales are very improbable. There is going to be a busier program of public events for the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, the Princess Royal, and additionally the Duke and Duchess of Gloucestershire. As we approach a very busy time of the year on the royal schedule, things might look very different in the coming months. A lot of the major occurrences will be coming up in May, particularly in June, so we're going to see what transpires, and you simply adapt. Any family who's experienced coping with sickness understands that's what you have to do, and you handle it in a single day or even a week at a time. Though it may come as a shock to hear this news right now, the royal family has a history of dealing with major health issues spanning decades. Now that Charles and Catherine have both been diagnosed with malignancy, William and Prince George, and the eldest child and children of the successor, will undoubtedly be under more scrutiny than before. In the 21st century, the line of succession is readily apparent, but the exact moment and tone of the following couple of reigns remain unsolved an expert stated. Prince William finds himself in a very difficult predicament. William has found himself in an extremely difficult position because he remains dedicated to his responsibilities as the Prince of Wales, but additionally makes it abundantly clear that his top concern is his loved ones, stated a royal analyst at McMaster University in Hamilton who focuses on the long history of the monarchy. How today's revelation will affect the deluge of conspiratorial ideas and wild congesture that has surrounded the Princess of Wales for the last couple of weeks is an inevitable question that follows today's news. What impressed me especially was the extent to which the communication looked to be centred on reducing the amount of speculation and gossip and placing greater importance on privacy, she pointed out. Catherine has made it very apparent that she will be out of the public eye for a while, while additionally allowing everyone a glimpse, however fleeting, into her personal battle. It seemed like a plea for sympathy all over again. Prince Edward, who's often at odds with Prince William, undergoes a radical transformation. It's unclear whether Princess Catherine will be able to return to her royal duties due to her ill health and King Charles's regency. The royal family has recently thrust Prince Edward into a leading royal role. This bodes poorly for Prince William's chances of becoming king. Prince Edward's relationship with William and his mother was tense from the beginning. Returning to the origins will provide the whole picture of Prince Edward and Prince William's connection. According to the famous royal writer Ingrid Seward, Edward thought Diana was fine, even though he had a deeper relationship with Prince Andrew's then-wife, Sarah Ferguson. 
He actually utilized it occasionally to have luncheon with Fergie, who would come from the palace and join him there to take him around to lunch because they were extremely close at one time, he recalled. Once upon a time, the two of them were quite close. She was youthful, entertaining, and passionate about his work, and he appreciated her too. After Diana's death, the Queen's youngest son, Edward, adopted a very uncomfortable posture, and tensions between him and Diana only increased. Reported in the television program, Paxman on the Queen's Children, Edward had originally been urged to drop the book of condolences prepared in Diana's honor and speak with mourners, but he declined. He replied, No, I don't want to go. I've decided to go with my sibling this afternoon. Regarding Edward's actions, during that period, Dickie Arbiter made an ascension. There had been some tension between him and his nephew, Prince William, since Diana Spencer's funeral in 1997 and Prince Edward's marriage in 1999. But things really went downhill in 2001. Edward was hoping to start his own movie production business, Ardent, and became a famous film producer. In his final effort to preserve the business, Edward decided to shoot a young William, who had been a student at St. Andrews, after the initiative failed. William, it turned out, was able to fully immerse himself in his student life without worrying about the prying eyes of the media, paparazzi or cameras, because of the university's stringent privacy agreements. However, Edward's actions disrupted his peaceful school life. Jobson reportedly described William's reaction to Edward's action as furious. William believed his uncle's business activities were threatening to damage the meticulously cultivated connection that existed between St. James's Palace and the mainstream media, and in consequence, it was thought it would jeopardize the entente cordiale among them and the media. An expert wrote of the ploy, when the narrative emerged, Prince Charles rightly became ballistic. There seems to be little chance of a shared royal destiny for William and Edward. Prince Edward has seen his nephew, Prince William, develop into an engaged father of three and an immediate rival to the throne. But their particular relationship probably goes beyond their responsibilities as royal cousins and representatives of the kingdom. As the result of their physical separation, William and Edward had trouble seeing eye to eye with King Charles III. William will eventually decide Edward's position within the royal family. Thus, that gulf will certainly widen with time. Thank you for taking the time to view today's video. We'd really appreciate your feedback and farewell for now.